have uh, we have had a nation certainly uh, a team from IC has been visiting Randwell. They've been looking at what we do. They, they understand that we are capable uh, to deliver uh, on time and on quality. But yes, they, they did have options, other options. And uh, I believe at the end, uh, it was their decision to choose us. And uh, I think their decision as usual will be driven by the technical expertise, the reliability, capability of their, and of course the price. That's also another factor. First of all, as uh, Mr. Jamal said, we uh, knew each other since a long time. But the chance was not there to start the shipbuilding since uh, ground world were very busy and uh, some other you know uh, obstacles stopped this deal to happen before now when we come to why high seas uh, choice uh, ground world to build these special four boats it's very important to mention that these four boats come with the new specifications not existing in the market so, going in this project means that we have to go with a reliable shipyard that can really design and build and deliver the required vessel as per the new requirements without issues. Since we are working for a company like Saudi Aramco, both of us uh, feel that we are responsible to go with this project and deliver the best quality to satisfy our client. Now, one of the important points I have to mention here, the cooperation and really the partnership dealing with each other to deliver the scope and specifications required by Aramco during the bidding stage. So even before we won the contract, the Grand World was with us as a partner. So this point is very, very important to mention because this kind of relationship means we have a trust and we rely on each other. Oh, we, you're absolutely right. I mean, it is, it is important to support the client uh, prior to uh, you know prior to contract award uh, because there will be a lot of technical uh, uh, details required even to complete the tender, let alone uh, you know to provide drawings and, and design details and you know big companies like Saudi Aramco, Atma. KOC, all these big companies, you know, they, they, you expect that they will be demanding a lot of information uh, to be submitted, not just commercial, but deeply technical information. So it is standard that Grand World will uh, support. But of course, uh, with the relation we have with the uh, with high seas, with our relation with Mr. Ibrahim and his team, it's, it's a different level of support. Um, we really had to be working together, hand in hand, uh, on the technical side, uh, you know, providing with them with all the information. And you know, he has to make commitments on his contract, he has to make commitment in performance and on delivery. Basically, you know, usually when, when you hear crew boat, it means, uh, of course, speed. But um, uh, the, the end user in this case, he didn't only need speed, but he needed a lot of uh, reserve stability, a lot of comfort uh, uh, for, the, for, for the people using. So the vessel has to provide extremely high stability under very rough condition. It has to provide also a comfort for the crew so that she can be used under rough weather conditions. So when, when these vessels is designed to operate under those tough conditions, tough sea condition, what I would say. So basically you will see that they are heavier in weight, deeper draft, 
and of course we, we equip them with extra power because the end user requested that the vessels provide speed on uh, above 30 knots plus they wanted a lot of reserve power We had experience to work in Malaysia and we had experience to work in Abu Dhabi and due to a shortage of number of vessels in our fleet we couldn't expand the, to the growth in, in, the, in these two markets. These are international markets so high seas is open. Uh, yes priority for our TCC market. Um, as international market, yes, we are open and hope the chance come again and we can expand our business uh, out of kingdom. First of all, I, I should mention the distance. It's easier to really come, travel and do it. This time, it's a special, you know, uh, case because of COVID-19. As of me, uh, a managing director of the company could not come. But luckily, we have our port captain, port engineer, and lately we had uh, our general manager to uh, present in the Grand World in a full-time basis. So for months, they have been in, in touch with everybody here. They are visiting the uh, vessels during uh, shipbuilding. Uh, unless actually, you know, um, this distance between Saudi and uh, Dubai is as short as that, you can't really control uh, such case. Um, getting to technical issues, um, I can say that uh, it's not that much difference between Grand World and Singapore, but um, the kind of uh, flexibility and cooperation, uh, especially we get from Mr. Jamal as a GM, is very, very helpful because it expedites the progress and the work. So we as management come over the smooth issues and close it. So it's not pending for long time. So this kind of understanding and cooperation help to get the job done within the uh, you know, specified time. Uh, keeping in mind also the challenge with COVID-19 and delivering such vessels within this time or this period of time is really an achievement. We, we have been, like I mentioned before, uh, it's been a, a teamwork right from the beginning. Uh, starting from design stage, uh, both Mr. Ibrahim and, and the technical people, everybody was provided with uh, the chance to be part of the uh, project. They were very keen, very interested to learn and about the, the design, about what we are doing, how we are getting there and certain times they had their own opinion because you know we are designing the vessel, we are building the vessel but they will be operating the vessel so the feedback and input is, is very important. Mm -hmm.